Well, it's good to see you today. Um, it's Friday. It's um, 10th of July, I think. Um, so we're going to definitely lose track of, of the days and the uh, and the dates. Um, and trust that you are well and you've had a good week so far. So here we are. We're in today's for today's devotion. We're in Jude, um, the book of Jude, a small uh, just one chapter in this, written probably. Well, there's, there's different schools of thought, but somewhere, you know, somewhere 20, 30, 40, 40 years after Jesus' death and resurrection, uh, written to Christians in Syria and Egypt. And um, so Jude, he, he writes this in the chapter, the verses we've been looking at the last few days, he's talking about these people. So he's writing against these false teachers. He's really coming against them. He's coming against them quite forcibly, these, these uh, what he calls false teachers, and he's kind of this next verse kind of just explains a little bit more why he's he's talking about this he's talking about how they've just lived in immoral lifestyles and they've justified themselves by the dreams that they've had and um so this is kind of and so this is just another follow-on from that this so this is verse 10 it's only one chapter and i've looked at it in a couple again a couple of versions just to try and get a sense of what's really going on here what's 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 the what's what's it what's he saying so this is what uh, he says, and so I'm reading first of all from the New Living Translation. But these people, these people, these these teachers, these people scoff at things they do not understand. Like unthinking animals, they do whatever their instincts t tell them, and so they bring about their own destruction. Uh, and from the New King James Version, it says this, But these people speak evil out of whatever they do not know. And whatever they know, naturally, like brute beasts, oh, that's quite harsh, isn't it? Like brute beasts in these things, they corrupt themselves. Wow. And the word there, so it says they speak out evil, these people scoff. <clears throat> the word there is, uh, the Greek word there is blasphemo, blasphemo. And so obviously where we get the word blaspheming God. And so they speak in evil, or another version, the New American Standard says, that they revile, <clears throat> they revile God. And, um, and so that's quite a strong word. And, you know, it's one of the things uh, I always try to, well, uh, I would never want, never want to blaspheme God, never want to just speak ill of my Lord and my God and my King. Um, and so we have to be careful with the words of how, how, we, how, we, um, how we speak. But here it says they speak, um, they speak uh, evil out of what they do not know, and so basically here they, they so they they do not know stuff, so they just spoken they spoken evil out of it. They're speaking evil about it. Well, we need to be careful when when we do that because just because we don't understand something and, and we're ignorant about something that we that we don't speak out of it in an evil manner. In the verse we had before, in verse 9, it says this, Michael, Michael, the archangel, he didn't speak evil, even of the devil, um, uh, uh, even though he didn't speak evil of him. He just said, the Lord rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you. These people, though, however, they've spoken evil and they've rejected authority, they've rejected God's authority, they've rejected the church's authority, and they reject Authority, basically, uh, it's a license to live their lives how they want, that they can have this immoral, sensual kind of lifestyle um, where they can just do what they want and just think it's, everything's going to be okay. When everything is not okay because we need to live, you know, we need to be holy because Jesus said, you know, oh God, the Bible says be holy. God says be holy because I am holy. And so we need to become more and more like Jesus. If we're, let be, if we're not becoming more and more like Jesus every single day, then <clears throat> you have to question, what's, what's the work of the Holy Spirit doing within us? Uh, <clears throat> yes, we all have a few bad days and, and, and things, but really we need to take, take those thoughts captive and stop that pattern of, of behaviour and actually say, no, we need to, you know, if we're going to be true followers of Christ Jesus, that we're becoming more and more like Jesus every day single day <clears throat> so what they did not know they spoke evil of and um, now we're never going to know all things um, but we should not speak evil of things we don't understand there's a lot of things you know i read about in the bible and i look at look at things and i'm thinking wow that's fantastic 
but I'm not sure I quite understand this, or I don't understand that, or I don't understand that. I don't reject it because I don't understand it. I just say, well, I just park it to one side. I do not speak evil of it, um, but I just, I just kind of accept it by faith. And there's things, there's certain things, a lot of things I don't understand. My brain doesn't have the capacity. Um, but, the, you know, the Bible says God's foolishness is wiser than man's wisdom. We're not meant to just understand it all. We're not going to. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called faith. So faith, uh, we need to follow, you know, just to, but we do need to, to look into the Bible, look into what it says and to get understanding because that also is a wise thing to do. And it says here, they're like brute beasts. Well, that is so harsh. All they do concern with doing is eating, drinking and just doing whatever they, whatever they want to do. They're pretending to be spiritual, but in fact, and they claim to be knowledgeable, but actually the they're actually ignorant. They thought they were superior to others. But Jude said, actually, do you know what, guys? You're just on the same level as animals. That's all you are. You're no more than, well, he's basically saying they're no more than filthy animals, which is quite harsh. However, uh, these people are causing a lot of problems and deception within the church. They're living by instinct, by living by the flesh, basically. There's no spirit, there's no spiritual aspect to what they're bringing. It's just purely a functional kind of thing and doing what those things do. And so, and for us, um, we are body, mind, soul and spirit. And we need, you know, God is spirit and we need to live according to the spirit. We need to live in the power of the spirit. We need to uh, live by the spirit. We need to pray in the spirit. Pray, you know, speaking in tongues is a great way to do it. Praying, you know, we pray in the spirit, but also praying in the language that God has given us. And that helps us to break through in some areas where we're perhaps struggling. So don't be like these teachers in closing. Don't be like these teachers who, who are like this, who do this. But instead, be spiritual. Uh, invite the Holy Spirit. Let's just, why don't we just do this right now? Holy Spirit, we just pray you'd really come and help us today, that you'd be with us, you'd strengthen us, you'd help us not to be like these teachers there who just did their own thing, lived their immoral lifestyles for their own gain, but Lord, that we want to be filled with your Holy Spirit, living for you and through you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen, have a great day. Uh, see you again shortly. If you like this, like and share it. That would be fantastic. See you again tomorrow on Saturday. Amen.